On this week's show, we head to Indiana and get an inside look at Jayco's new Alante Class A motorhome and what goes into building this all new model. Then, Jeff heads to Minnesota and checks out the Ice Castle Fish House trailers. Later on, he pays a visit to the North House Folk School where they teach old world crafts and trades. These stories and more on this week's episode of Rolling On TV. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Following the success of its gas-powered Precept Class A motorhome, Jayco has introduced a second gas-powered Class A, the Alante. At first glance, the Alante looks somewhat like other Class A's, but when you get a closer look, you start seeing a lot of new forward-thinking ideas that really sets this affordable Class A apart from all the others. Besides the obvious huge windshield, which by the way is the largest in the industry, the Alante also has the narrowest A-pillars for better sight lines and gives that front end a clean, sleek look. Speaking of the front, the seamless front cap has some cool LED lighting accents above and below the grille, along with some lights on the lower front pan. Other noticeable features of the new Alante include a fiberglass roof, large frameless windows, and pass-through storage compartments with slam latch doors. The power awning also has LED lights built right in, which lends itself that extra ambiance to a nice evening outside. And if that ambiance is too quiet for your taste, you can watch a game on a flat screen TV or listen to some music on the stereo system. The Alante also has a wide array of safety features, like the side view cameras located in the side mirrors, along with a rear view camera. Another great safety item is the third brake light. And inside, all the seats have seat belts. Along with the safety items you can see, the new Alante has added other safety, ride, and handling features that are all part of their J-Ride package. We'll look at these items later when we visit the assembly line. On the inside, you can't help but notice the spaciousness and open feeling, starting with that large windshield and roomy cab area. By the way, that's a six-way powered driver's seat. Jayco currently offers four floor plans. This model had a spacious couch behind a driver's seat leading back to a roomy dinette. Across from the couch and dinette is a kitchen area with everything you need including a large Norco combination gas and electric refrigerator. In the bathroom you'll find a roomy shower with a large glass door. As we said earlier, it's amazing how much Jayco has built into this really affordable Class A. And it all comes with a two-year warranty. Coming up, we'll visit the assembly line and check out a lot of the hidden features you can only see during the build process. We'll be right back. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. Never run out of propane again. With level check, there's no more guesswork. Just run the gauge over the tank, and when the light turns from red to green, you'll know exactly how much propane you have left. It's that simple. Level check, another great product from Truma. For more information, visit levelcheck.com. Yeah. 
welcome back. It's easy to see why Jayco is the largest family-owned RV company in the country with a line of products that will fill any RVer's needs. Before the break, we got an overview of the new Alante, and now let's see what goes into building them. It all starts here in the engineering and design department where everything from the frame to the roof is painstakingly designed and perfected before the first wrench is even turned. The build process starts here with the frame. Jayco only builds on custom sized frames designed specifically for each floor plan. There's no scratching and welding the frame to fit. At this stage of construction is where you can see some of the components that go into the j Wright package, like those readily identifiable blue Bilstein shocks, along with front and rear heavy-duty sway bars. Behind the 5-speed torque shift automatic transmission, you will find a computer balanced drive shaft. The engine is a powerful Ford Triton V10. Many of the components are also installed here, like the automatic leveling jacks. At another section of the plant, workers are installing a huge windshield on the front cap that will be made it to the body further down the line. Once all the components, including wiring and hydraulics, are installed on the frame, the next step is to install the pre-assembled floor. Now is where things start happening quickly and give you a chance to see how efficient this assembly plant is. Once the floor is installed, the unit is moved to the next section onto the ramp. That ramp leads to the cabinet shop on the second level. Following build sheets, a worker positions all the cabinets and dividers on the ramp and moves them down to where they're within inches of the unit that they're being installed on. If you look closely, you'll see that that worker is tethered to a safety harness. Once the cabinets and other interior components are in place, it's time to move the unit to the next station where the sidewalls are put on. With the sidewalls attached, the next step is to get the roof installed and secured. With that step done, it's time to mate the main body with that sleek one-piece nose cap. From here, all the finishing touches get done along with a final inspection and this Alante is off to another anxiously awaiting customer. We'll show you more of the Alante and other new 2016 models from Jayco in a few weeks during the big RV industry open house in Elkhart, Indiana. Coming up, we'll join Jeff up in Minnesota where he checks out a unique line of trailers from Ice Castle. But first, a word from our sponsors. Is it now the perfect time to turn your old pop-up tent trailer from looking like this to looking like this? Treat yourself and your family to a bug-free camping season with a new tent canvas from Canvas Replacements. To learn more or to order a new canvas, visit canvasreplacements.com or call 800-232-2079. At Icon Direct, we make more RV aftermarket products and we have time to list here, like skylights, fender skirts, towing products, and, well, you get the picture. So, the best way to see all our products and most likely find just what you're looking for is to visit our website at icondirect.com or call our friendly customer service department at 888-362-4266. Greetings from beautiful Little Falls, Minnesota. We're at Monahan's Marine, where we're taking a look at an Ice Castle brand RV edition trailer. Now the Ice Castle trailers are originally built specifically for ice fishing use, so they have the features incumbent to ice fishing trailers. However, this one is a handicap access model, and it has features in addition to wonderful RV living accommodations that make it just right for someone who's wheelchair bound. Let's take a closer look. 
Ice Castle trailers are available in a wide variety of sizes. This handicap model is a well-equipped 21-footer. Extra heavy-duty insulation and components planned for cold climates make this a functional all-season trailer. Dual-pane residential-style windows are standard on this model. Its hydraulic suspension system allows the trailer to lower to ground level, which is convenient for handicap access as well as ice fishing. The lift system, with handheld wireless remote, then raises the trailer and its articulating hitch into travel height mode. The hitch locks in place for secure towing. Conventional LP cylinders and standard RV utility connections are included throughout. Releasing a pair of spring-loaded latch pins allows the wheelchair ramp to lower for entry. The oversized 36-inch door provides unfettered interior access. Cedar siding and wood-faced cabinets create a warm, comfortable interior environment. A 40,000 BTU furnace keeps things cozy even during extra cold adventures. A wide open center floor area is part of making it easier to get around with a wheelchair inside this RV. Interior features such as the low mounted microwave oven are planned with the rig's intended use in mind. Countertops are lower in the galley and bath to promote easy wheelchair bound access. Likewise, the windows are lower than usual and vehicle controls plus the fuse panel are similarly positioned. The usual storage cabinets are positioned at ceiling height around the RV interior. The jackknife sofa folds out into a bed. The second bed lowers from the ceiling on a motorized track unit. The bath is a pass-through split design with the toilet and storage cabinet street side and the sink and vanity counter curbside. Portable ramps ease the climb into the shower stall. For more information about Ice Castle Handicap Access RVs, log on to our website at rollinontv.com. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at jayco.com or just log on to rollingontv.com. At Norco, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norco refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norco RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norco.com. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. A tour of the Lake Superior Railroad Museum satisfies both a historian and a railroad enthusiast. Hundreds of ore cars of this type hauled millions of tons of iron ore from Minnesota's Iron Range. An HO scale model train layout that depicts local iron ore production and railroad operations is a prominent display. Push a button out front and the trains operate for a pre-time duration.
worked a steel mill. Logging was another prominent local industry, and this rare McGifford loader is a fitting tribute to those early days. Railroad accidents happen, so you call out the big hook when wreck repairs are needed. Given the area's extreme winters, it's natural that a vintage snowplow and more modern rotary plow are part of the display. You can also ride the North Shore Scenic Railroad that boards just outside the museum next to the rotary snowplow area. There's a bit of something for everyone at the museum, and the gigantic Yellowstone-class steam locomotive always catches the eye of steam fans. The Yellowstone-type steam locomotive built by the Duluth, Misabi and Iron Range Railroad to handle the high-demand chores of it, transporting iron ore is arguably one of the largest steam locomotives ever built. It's also one of the strongest and some would say the most powerful. However, there are some big boy and Allegheny fans who might argue that point. To learn more about the Lake Superior Railroad Museum and local railroad history, log on to our website at rollinontv.com. The next destination on our Minnesota adventure is the North House Folk School. Working on arts and crafts projects while they travel is a popular pastime for RVers. A lot of those RVers also enjoy learning more about it while they're traveling. But we're here in beautiful Grand Marais, Minnesota at the North House Folk School. The North House teaches a variety of crafts and skills that may seem all but forgotten in today's modern world. Let's take a closer look. Whatever your handcraft interest, there's probably something for you at the North House. Its location on the shore of Lake Superior is inspiring and good for the soul. The group of modest buildings that house the classrooms harken back to traditional small-town America in style and decor. The school is as much about why the classes are important as it is about what it teaches. It's not that long ago our our ancestors knew quite literally how to make their lives with their hands. Um, looking at the landscape around them, they could grab onto the resource they'd need, working with their neighbors, working with their family, and they could carve a bowl they needed to, to brew the ale for the community celebration. They could cut the beams to raise the timbered barn where the livestock would stay. Um, they could create the traditional toboggan that would allow them to travel across the northern landscape on the snow and the ice. North House Folk School is an educational nonprofit that teaches traditional northern crafts. Our mission? Enrich lives and build community through the teaching of traditional northern crafts means we take people on all kinds of learning adventures. Traditional timber framing, wooden boat building, skin-on-frame kayak building, cedar strip canoe building, wool blanket shirts, blacksmithing, moose hide mucklucks. During our visit, the wooden boat class and the small house construction class were actively in process. Students learn about structural and aesthetic design elements that are in step with the small house movement growing in the U.S. Skills learned here make it possible for students to build their own compact residences. No, I think that would look fantastic because we'll put another, well, we come in maybe with two whites at the end of that and I'll just go straight into this dark. Wooden boat building instructor Ken Kosick takes students through the craft of assembling a wooden strip canoe. In Ken's view, it's as much about the experience as it is the end result. It's nice to be building these crafts, but the most important thing is it's a father-son working together here, and there's a father and son working together there for 11 days, building a, a canoe and a kayak that's going to be an heirloom for their family. But more importantly, I think, is the fact that these two people are going to, it's a bonding thing that's going on, and so it's something that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives. And for me, that's more important than the canoe or the kayak that would end up as an end product. So there's a lot more going on here than just building a canoe or a kayak. Uh, these two gentlemen are having a good time with the other two people, another father and son. And of course, I'm enjoying myself more than anybody else. So otherwise, I wouldn't be here teaching the class. 
RVers can drop by and take part in classes as brief or as involved as they choose. It doesn't have to be a long-term time commitment. Classes help in at North House year-round. Um, every month of the year, almost every weekend of the year. Um, and there are 19 different teaching themes. Classes range in length from a half day to two weeks. If you want to do some soap making, guess what? It's a half day class. If you want to do an introduction to wood-fired bread baking, it's a half day class. If you want to go home, take home a cedar strip canoe, well that takes just a little bit longer. <laughs> in addition to being open for coursework 12 months a year, we're open to visitors. And many people will stop by while they're uh, traveling the North Shore to learn more about the school. Classrooms are open and so visitors are welcome to be curious and see things that are going on. And in the high season, early June to late September, we actually have uh, mini classes that happen three or four days of the week that people can sign up for. Evidence of the timber framing classes can be seen throughout the facility. Regardless of the marvelous things you can actively learn at the North House, you'll also be tempted to take part in social time by the campfire or just sit in the swing seat and enjoy the view of the lake and the world passing by. In today's RV world, there are a lot of different ways to get TV reception. These range from the standard batwing type antennas that come stock on most RVs, all the way up to signal-seeking satellite dishes. But what if you want high-definition reception for your older RV, and you can't afford to spend several thousand dollars on a rooftop satellite dish or several hundred dollars on a higher-end antenna? Our friends at Weingarter come out with a new solution to the high-definition TV reception question. It's called the Razor. Measures about 12 by 13 inches, very lightweight, weighs just a few ounces, about you know, a few thousandths of an inch thick. It's got a little base connection here that's about a half an inch thick, and that's the biggest part of the unit. It comes equipped with about 15 feet of coax cable, so you can connect it to just about any TV and move the antenna around. And it includes clips that fit on the corners of the antenna so it can be mounted via suction cups to a window. In addition, this costs about $45 retail, and uh, that's pretty much within most people's budget. Let's take a look, see how it works. Detachable suction cup mounts make it easy to fasten the Razor to any window or other flat surface in your RV. We hung the Razor on a side window to start our reception test. Connect the Razor to the TV's coax cable input and it's ready for use. With the Razor installed, start your TV's channel search feature. You may need to reposition the antenna in a different location for best reception, especially when you're in a remote location. The antenna is designed for over-the-air HVHF and UHF signal reception. We scrolled through a variety of channels and found the Razor did the job as advertised. You can also use the Razor outside for campsite TV viewing or tailgate parties, for example. For more information on the Razor High Definition Antenna, visit the WineGuard website or log on to our website at rollinontv.com. We hope you enjoyed this week's program and for additional information on anything you've seen on the show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our website at rollinontv.com. While there, visit our store where you'll find some great products featured on our shows. As usual, this has been another fun production. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com. For great recipes and RVing tips, be sure to visit Evan Schmatter at thervcookingshow.com.